Confession, I had only ever seen this once. I know I own the DVD, but I don't recall if I watched it on TV and then bought it or bought it because I knew it was famous and I was ashamed I hadn't seen it. I don't even remember how old I was. Pretty sure my dad watched it with me. Early preteens, the early teens maybe? Anyways, I had seen it. Always liked it. Understood why so many loved it, but was never fully the hype for me. I think that's because I was too young to really appreciate it. Well, thankfully, that has changed. First off, it's just insane how they made this. The aerial footage is unbelievable and elevates the film with a sense of realism rarely found. They are breathtaking, high-stakes stunts, and the scenes carry so much tension you can't help but be glued to the screen. The story is also really well written. Maverick has a lot to prove because of his late father and the murky details he has about him. His arc is somewhat reminiscent of the classical hero's journey in some ways, and by film's end, you'll smile at the fulfillment of it coming for a full circle. There is genuine emotion, romance, comedy, and awe-inducing action to be had throughout. That particular death is a gut punch out of nowhere that informs the third act in a way that transforms the message and the characters completely. Also, I freaking love Val Kilmer, the Iceman, and the Batman. My sole complaint is the weirdly over-the-top sex scene that's just too much. It didn't need it at all, and I just don't like these kinds of scenes being glorified. My only other observation is a lot of scenes are dark, just dimly lit. It could be my Blu-ray transfer, um, or maybe my parents' TV, since I was watching with them, but I also read that it's just a common problem in some of the Blu-ray transfers. They're just seemingly poorly lit or dimly lit scenes. It's weird, but I won't fully fault the film for it since I'm not sure. But I did buy the 4K because I'm very excited to watch it in 4K, in that remaster. I'm pumped for Maverick this week. Tom Cruise proved then and continues to showcase now that he is sincerely one of the last true classic movie stars of his kind. This film is absolutely deserving of the Star Wars on Earth mission they boldly touted going for. It's a bona fide American classic. No matter how 80s it is, no matter how many times or overused songs there are, such as Danger Zone, when the Top Gun anthem crescendos, so will your heart. I give Top Gun 5 out of 5 stars. Check back here soon with my Top Gun Maverick review. Really excited to see it. Can't wait to share my thoughts with you all. So please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Take care.